public services, then comes public education. All these things are all aspects of the public realm. So what I tried to do as mayor was to rebuild this public realm. There were three attitudes in my aspects of my mind. Rebuild public trust and respect for the city. Rebuild the basic services that are part of this public realm, right? And start and begin to get that going. And then lastly, show a centerpiece of what this all meant in one place, in one moment, uh, and that was the Anacostia River. And I know we were <coughs> successful in the Anacostia River, not because all the things that are happening is it is it a physical demonstration that it was successful, but really I knew it was successful as I was leaving office. Everybody criticized me because we had not done enough on the Anacostia River. And yet when I got elected, nobody even talked about the Anacostia River. That's progress. If people were criticizing you and your vocabulary, then you know that's progress. You see, so I do that with progress. Another side of progress is the criticism you get tell you there's progress. I say, so if I say public services are a big part of the public realm, and I went to a community meeting as I was leaving office, and this lady says to me, Mayor, I have a lot of complaints. I'm thinking to myself, you know, take a number, right? <laughs> <laughs> she says, Mayor, I have a lot of numbers because I went to such and such an agency, and I went to the counter, and the person told me one thing, and then I got on the phone, and the person told me another thing, and then on the, I went on the website, and it was a third thing, and I said, well, you know, we're going to work this, da 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 But I'm thinking to myself, you know, that's really progress. Because when I became mayor, nobody came to the counter, remember? Nobody answered the phone, and we didn't even have a website. Right? right? At least it was something to reconcile, right? Okay. So, that, so, you know, that was a, try to break that progress. And really, beneath all of this, it was really trying to do what? It was trying to create a virtuous cycle in the city of development, forward momentum in the city of development, right, in this public realm to create forward momentum. You know, you, you, those of you who've been with me know I always, always talk about the cycles of cities. I use St. Louis as an example. Decline uh, after World War II, before World War II, spectacular growth in the American city. Then the Depression hit World War II and you get the second cycle of the American city catastrophic loss of population, economics, public safety, public education. And so when I became mayor, I was acutely aware that like any American city, what we had to do was arrest this corrosive, vicious cycle and pull the plane up into a forward momentum because left unattended, we were basically bottoming out like a, we were headed to Detroit. Right. It was not a pretty picture. People, a lot of the millennials that are coming in here, they take all this for granted. I feel like the guy in that Absolutely. Jack Nicholson had movie, you can't handle the truth. You, you know, I mean, you had to be here to appreciate what we were talking about. Am I right? Yeah. 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 I mean, you walk down A Street now, you had to be on A Street right back in the day, as they say. Right? So it was always trying to create this forward momentum. Now, this brings the Tax Revision Commission. So the reason why I was... Uh, <clears throat> Well, I wasn't exactly delighted, but I was willing to take on this task at the Tax Revision Commission and why I take it seriously and why I'm still going to advocate the passage of its, the bulk of its recommendations with the consul, notwithstanding that the mayor has been somewhat begrudging in his embrace of it, uh, allowing for the fact that I spent a lot of time on it and then he's only embraced part of it. I got a problem with that. You know, I, there are a lot of other things I could have done. You know what I mean? Yes. I happen to think part of the reason why the mayor's in the situation he is, you've got when you're mayor, you have to be decisive. You gotta make say whatever you think about Adrian, he made some decisions, he stuck with his decisions. I made some decisions, stuck with his decisions. You can't say, we're gonna build a baseball stadium unless everybody doesn't really like it, and oh I really don't want to do it. You gotta <laughs> You know, like if you take it off from National, the pilot turns on the runway and they crank up the power, you want them to commit it, right? You don't want them like, well, I don't really know if we're going to take off or not. And, you know, you're kind of committed, right? D.C. General, everybody thought D.C. General, closing D.C. General was insanity, the world is going to end, we're all going to lose our lives, yada, yada. And, and now all the people who hated the whole D.C. General plan think it's one of the best plans we've ever done. Kaiser Permanente, Brookings have done a study. We now in D.C. have one of the best state health plans in the country because we made a difficult decision. You've got to make difficult decisions. I would argue with a tax revision commission, what we were trying to do is we were trying to do three things in, in the following context.